Hello lovely friends, <laughs> how are you all doing today? I hope you're well. This is a bit different isn't it? I'm sitting on my kitchen floor. Okay, I am kind of ashamed to be doing this with you today but I want to share it because it may be useful for someone else. The fact is, I am so not a housekeeper housewife, any of those things. I really, really don't do the whole cleaning thing. I mean, I do I, I do the basics, obviously I do. My bathroom is clean, my kitchen sink is clean, kitchen surfaces. I sweep the floor most days. I'm particularly fastidious about the floor because when I'm sewing, if anything tumbles over the side of the sewing table, if I'm doing long things like bunting, I do not want them to pick up any dust or fluff or anything like that. So I'm good at about doing my floors. I do my floors every day. <sighs> Dusting, not so much. Once a month, maybe. I'm in the, I'm of the kind of Quentin Crisp school of thinking that, you know, by the time, well you do your dusting and the next day it's all back isn't it? However, this is a big deal for me today. I'm starting to tackle my oven. Now, I'm going to horrify you all, I know, and this is why I'm so a bit ashamed. The thing for me is, there are only so many hours in the day and I would rather spend my hours either in the garden or, you know, oh if the chance happens, reading a book. If I've got half an hour free at the end of the day, am I going to clean or read a book? No brainer. Yeah, I am not, I'm not a good housewife. Things like the fridge and the freezers, at least once a year I turn everything off and I do clean them. The oven, I haven't touched, <laughs> God, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed of this. We're going to have to just laugh. We're going to have to laugh together because I haven't cleaned it since the day I moved in. It was brand new. So when I moved in here, there was no kitchen at all. So I had to build one and put everything in. And, um, and thank you to Richard, the fantastic Richard Kill, who helped me to build this kitchen. Uh, a pal I knew from the bookshop days a poet and a carpenter. Anyway, um, I haven't cleaned my oven in 17 years. I mean, that's rank, isn't it? Okay, so the thing is, I don't use my oven a lot. I maybe use my oven once a fortnight, but even so, it is, I'm now kind of slightly icking and disgusting myself out. When I do use the oven, I usually have, whatever I'm cooking, I'll have a tray underneath to catch drips and spills. But even so, the, for instance, so what we're going to work on today is the glass part, the door, because it is, it's brown, can't see through it. And the other day I was looking at it, I was thinking, surely I should be able to see into my oven. I can't remember what I had in here, but I wanted to watch it. I think I was doing a pie or something and wanted to watch it rise and I couldn't see the thing. So, uh, yeah, tackling the door today. And also, I'm starting to become more aware of and attuned to the fact that I will need to move from this property. I think probably within the next two or three years, I'm struggling more and more with those stairs. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love, love, love my cottage in the sky. I love being high up, but I'm being realistic. I really do. Whether I get new replacements or not, I need to move to a ground floor property. And who knows, maybe one with a garden. So, what I've done so far is, you've seen the other day I bought my big box of bicarb of soda, poured a a load of it, it doesn't, the quantities do not matter, it doesn't matter. Poured a load into the bowl, added enough water to make it like a sort of paste, spread it over the window. 
It's now been on for about an hour and a half. Everything I'd read from other people was like, oh, spread it and leave for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I came back with one of my scourers. <laughs> nothing, nothing was happening. I left it for half an hour. Still, very little was happening. After about an hour, I gave it a bit of a scrutch and it started to look like maybe it might be working. But then I suddenly thought, oh, I know what might speed up the process. So I've got my bicarb paste all over the window. I'm going to show you closer in a second, don't worry. I've got my bicarb paste spread out and by that time it had been maybe, I'm trying to work it out now, it's about an hour and a half. I thought, what will happen if I spritz it all with vinegar? Get that bicarb bubbling. And I think that's helped. So let me show you where it's at now. I've done, I've done one little section briefly. I haven't really scrubbed it just briefly. So I'll show you this and then actually I need to take these off <laughs> for the minute to move the camera and then let's get in here together and give it a scrub and see if a bit of bicarb and a bit of white vinegar and tiniest, I had the tiniest, tiniest drop of white vinegar left. Let's see if it's going to work. <laughs> I am such, such a bad housewife. Okay, so can you see, I'm going to move it without scritching, can you see over here, can you, I mean, it, look, it's virtually black, isn't it? And this is the little bit I scritched earlier, um, once I had the vinegar on. I've, I've got a feeling it may need a second going over, but you can see it's much clearer. So I've got an option, I've got a selection of scritchy things. I've got this sort of like, this is like knitted metal. <laughs> goodness knows and then I've got this which is kind of knitted not knitted uh, sort of compressed and then stitched over loofah actually Richard and Paul gave me this for Christmas so I think I'm going to start with this because I think it'll be more gentle because the thing I don't want to do is scratch the glass but okay so what I'm going to do this might be disgusting Let's just move that aside. Can you see? Can you see how dark and dingy and brown that is? So let's see what happens now if I scritch a bit. It is going to take some elbow grease, I think. That is... That is coming off a bit. Oh, that's a bit of an effort. Can you see that's coming off a bit? I'm going to just try the metal scritcher, see if that's quicker and easier. Also, I'm just going to prop it up underneath because I don't want to bust out the hinges. And I think as I scritch... Oh, I want to get into these edges. Oh, Vivi, you filthmeister. The other thing you can use, I've seen people saying they can use wire wool. I'd be really worried to use wire wool just because of scratching the glass. Listen, there's no way, there's no way I'm going to bring this back to looking like new and perfect and, you know, 17 years ago. But if I can get it to look even halfway decent for for selling and the chances are you know whoever buys this property they'll want to put their own oven in they'll want to change it out and get something a bit more modern a bit more spanky and doing all sorts of what do you do flips and do da fine but at least if this is as clean as I can get it I won't put off, I, this, this, I, this is what it boils down to. I don't want to put off a potential buyer. Oh God, it's hard work, I've got to tell you. I've, I've seen videos of other people doing this and it's like, oh, and they kind of go, look, look how beautiful it is. No, I'm telling you now, this is, this is hard work. Yeah, I think if nothing else, let me get it to a state that is, clean enough that it doesn't put off a potential buyer. 
even if they want to replace it. And I think, judging by how it's going, <laughs> it's going quite difficultly. Um, maybe this is going to need one or two or three or four treatments. Yeah, that, that's okay. It's not, um, like I said, I'm not going to, I'm not doing anything in a hurry. I'm not, this whole moving thing, it really probably isn't going to happen until, you know, we're two or three years down the line. Oh, that works a bit better if I really get my thumb in it. Can you see, can you see how that's coming? Let me move all the scrudge aside. So... Can you, I mean, you can see, can't you? You can see how utterly, utterly brown and burnt on it was. <laughs> Listen, guys, I am, like I said, I am a bit, I'm, I'm sort of, on the one hand, I'm slightly ashamed to show you this, because I'm, because I'm cleaning for 17 years. On the other hand, I'm proud that I don't clean, because I'm too busy having fun. But also, I hope if nothing else, what we can all discover through doing this is that is that we can with a bit of elbow grease and some relatively harmless products like bicarbon vinegar we can remedy our tardiness of all the years it is working it is definitely working. Right, I think I need to kind of have a... Oh, I'm puffed. Hang on a second. <clears throat> I think what this is going to need is... Let me bring you round and talk to you face to face. <laughs> uh, it's obviously going to need quite a bit more elbow grease. To be honest with you, I didn't even think this much would work. So, I'm actually kind of delighted. I'm not using really hideous, caustic, nasty chemicals. You know, you go to the shops and you see these oven cleaners being sold and they're, and you look at the size of the packet and everything on the packet is, you know, kills wildlife, kills children, kills babies, kills monkeys, kills trees, it kills everything. So yeah. It's gonna take a bit of algebra grease. But I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work and put it this way <laughs> anything I can achieve today or over the course of the next few days, maybe a second, third treatment, anything will be better than the way it was. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Please don't judge me for being an absolutely horrific housewife cleaner type person like I said I would rather be in the garden than doing this uh, but needs must the day I come to sell this place I don't want a buyer to try and knock 10 grand off the price purely because of the oven and that's what people try and do so yeah <sighs> well my lovely friends it's the next day. <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, so what I did yesterday after I finished talking with you all, I carried on as much as I could, much as I could, much as I could. Wiped it all off and I could see the lower half of the window. It was really, really grimed on still. I'm wondering if that's... I'm going to do the convection. I don't know. Anyway, so I've done another dose of the bicarb and you know what save myself time so instead of making up a paste literally all I did was I sprinkled the bicarb all over the window and then using my watering can that I use for the seedlings it's got the fine rose I just sprinkled it just sprinkled it enough to wet it all um left it like that for it's been about an hour and a half and I had another little look, another little scratch, and it was coming away, but then I thought, oh, let's try the vinegar again. So again, using the, the fine rose on the watering can, and I must remember to thoroughly wash the watering can out of any vinegar, because if I water my plants with vinegar, I'll kill them. 
and uh, and then yeah it's just down to elbow grease so you can put can you see look you can see my hand through it <laughs> couldn't see that yesterday there are a couple of oh really stubborn they're really small spots and I might I think I'm getting to the stage where I think I can live with those right I think best thing to do now I think I'm going to turn you off for a sec I'm going to give this all a rinse and a buff up with a dry cloth and let's see what difference hopefully I've been able to well we can already see a bit of the difference can't we look can you see hand uh yeah let's have a closer look once I've washed it all down thank you all right let's take a closer look I hope whoopla I hope you'll all agree that gosh that was worth it wasn't it so the next job you have to excuse the next job is all down here and the base of the inside of the oven and the oven racks themselves the, all the racks can come out they can go in the sink to soak but yeah on the inside I'll do exactly the same treatment but that frankly I'm astonished at because like I said and you know <laughs> Trust me, I wasn't exaggerating about 17 years. Amazing, look. <laughs> so now when the oven door's shut, I, shut, I can check to see if my uh, pies are burning. I'm just gonna try and get you all in really, really close so you can see I've also, all of the metal around has had a good scrub. There's still a few little bits there. And then, oh, the camera's gonna struggle to focus because, ah, now it can focus. So you see there's just these last few oh, really stubborn bits but I've managed for the most part to get right in right in up to the frame there's a little bit there oh it was a gnarly bit but when you look at that that level of brownness <laughs> oh that was what the whole window was yay <laughs> oh goodness at last <laughs> I look dishevelled you know what that took some effort it it did the obviously putting the bicarb on and leaving it to soak and walking away great got on with other things but the actual scrubbing of it I'd say each session I scrubbed for sort of 15 20 minutes it's my own fault of course for not keeping on top of the cleaning over the years but it just goes to show, I hope it came over uh, at the beginning of the video, just how brown that glass with with all that baked on, the little spits of oil that happen during cooking and and as it's that as it's cooking and oil is evaporating I don't know, whatever. Uh, it, you know, it really, really was a cake on. So with a couple of really, really cheap ingredients. I think with the bicarb, is it what you call baking soda in America? I, I forgot to mention that earlier. I'll look it up so I can put it in the description. Um, I've used about 50 pence worth of bicarb on that and oh, not even 10 pence worth of vinegar. Okay, I've still got the rest of the oven to do, so maybe once I've done the whole oven, I'll have used up that whole box of bicarb I bought the other day for £1.50. So look, £1.50, that's not a huge amount of money to spend to clean something that hasn't been cleaned for 17 years. I don't know what a proprietary caustic chemical solution would cost in the shop, so I didn't actually bother to look. But the point of this is, you know, there's two things. One, it's been super cheap to do. I'm assuming it's super cheap. I can't, oh, that made me jump. The taps just had a wee. Um, I can't imagine anything in the shops to clean your oven with so thoroughly for £1.50. So it's frugal. But really, really, really importantly, we're not using or using hideous, really vilely caustic chemicals which can end up in our water supply, what have you. Um, at where, where all that paste of the bicarb was still there I've kind of lifted it off and put it in my sink drain and run some hot water in that fizz that's going to give my little u bender clean too I'm chuffed 
yay, good job done. And now I need to do the outside because where I was supporting the door with one hand as I was scrubbing, my right arm would get tired. So I'd swap, scrub with my left. So now of course there's all sorts of like yucky bicarby bits on the outside of the door. Fine, I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, I'm chuffed. Um, I'm really ashamed of myself for letting it go on for so long. But you know what? Life's too short, isn't it? It's like, I'm far too busy having fun than to clean my oven. But, like I said, you know, at some point I'm going to be selling this gaff. I want it to look as good as it can. I don't, I don't want anything in here to put off a potential buyer. And something as simple as the oven, even though it cost, I don't know, £350 to replace, it's the kind of thing that would could put a buyer off completely or they try and knock me down five grand you know so good chuff with that hope that was helpful to some of you too you know I've seen I, I've, I've kind of heard and seen about this kind of bicarb method on numerous occasions and um, I, I, I seem to remember seeing a YouTube video on it years ago years way before I was doing YouTube when I was first kind of discovering YouTube and someone had sort of done it, had a little, little teeny tiny scritch and then wiped it off and it was perfect. I was like, oh, that's amazing. That wasn't the truth of it here. But you've seen the result. Like I said, even after all those years, it is possible to, it is possible to get a, a pretty decent result. All right, my lovelies, I need to go and lie down now. <laughs> I need, to, I need to go and lie down and think about gardening instead of cleaning. I'll see you all again really soon, I hope. But until then, please look after yourselves. Look after your ovens if you can bear to. Bye for now.